Hey guys, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Still looking at drones, still drone shopping. And the next question now is what camera to add once I get a either a Tarantula X6 or a Sima X8. Those are the two that I think we're looking at. Maybe there'll be another contender in there. But both of those can handle a, another camera. The, uh, in other words, you don't have to use the stock one, you can upgrade, and there's a few different options I'm looking at here. And this is something else I've been wanting to get for a while too, is an action camera, either a GoPro or something similar. And apparently there's quite a few choices I'm finding here that seem pretty good. Had some good recommendations. Check it out, let's go look, and I'll show you the ones I'm looking at. Okay, so we have our options for higher end quadcopters that can carry a camera. The Sima X8G is $134.95. The Sima X8C is only $79.99. And then we also have the Tarantula X6 as an option at $60.95, which can carry a camera as well. That begs the question, as I was saying, which camera do we want? This Run Cam has been highly recommended. It is This is the Run Cam 2. It's a little bit more expensive. I think the other one was $60, but this one is... Um, 1080p at 60 frames per second and it has a, a nice low latency to it. Four out of, or no, five out of five stars for customer reviews. This is the cam here and I believe you can plug it straight into the power of the quadcopter, which is nice. As an option to those, obviously we have the uh, the GoPros, which range anywhere from about 150 to, you know, four or $500. Um, so that's an option, but that's our high end option. We've got the Able Grids here. 12 megapixel 1080 camera is $59.99. Comes with this really cool um, waterproof case and mount. So that's a that's a bonus there. This is well reviewed at uh, it's a bestseller again. Four out of five stars. 30 customer reviews. This is $59.99. Uh, the list on it's $199. You can step up to the Able Grid 4K camera for only $109.99. And uh, this is four and a half, four out of five stars. 10 customer reviews. Then we've got the SJ cams, which seem to be the same as the Able Grid. They actually have the same designation, the SJ5000, which is the same as this one here, the SJ5000. Just a price difference, really. Oh, where is it? There it is. So $143.99 versus $59.99. So I think I would go with the uh, Able Grid. Then we've got this uh, Yi action cameras, and these were very highly rated. These have a Sony Exmor R BSI sensor here, as you can see. I like the look of these too. These are very Apple-esque, if I may. They look, you know, very simple, very uh, classy design to them here. And uh, 7839 is not bad. I haven't seen this one in a 4K version, where I do like the idea of 4K. So this 4K model here of the Able Grid. 4K for 109 looks very good. So anyways, um, I wanted to just ask you guys, what do you think? Do you guys have uh, experience with the um, SJ cams, the Able Grids here, either in the 4K or the 12 megapixel um, 1080 camera, or the Yi? Do you have experience with the Yi? I mean, that does look good that it has the Sony Exmor in it. The Yi has um, uh, some kits available. I think any of this uh, stuff fits a lot of these things. This one says it fits the GoPro Hero or the, the, the Yi. This is $32 for all this additional uh, accessories. So that looks like a good deal. I'm probably going to have to throw that in too. And um, you got the Yi handlebar bike mount, which probably fits the, the uh, Low Pro as well. $14.99. Uh, five out of five stars, eight customer reviews. That looks like it'll go great on my mountain bike, which I'm looking forward to using the action camera for as well. We also have an underwater housing here for the Yi. So that's $19.99 um, because Yi didn't come with one, but you can get it for $19.99. So if it, you know, if you, if you guys are saying the Yi's the better camera, I don't mind spending 20 bucks on the housing. So what do you think, guys? Um, the Yi, one of the SJ cams, one of the Able grids here. For those of you that have shot this, have experience with it, know somebody that has one, leave your feedback below. I'd love to hear back from you. I'm trying to decide on which camera to use, um, not only on the drone, but also just as an action camera. Uh, it'd be great for a dash camera in the car, for on my bicycle, head mounted, depending on what we're doing, just to get some awesome extra footage. Really appreciate it if you can leave um, some comments below. Uh, help me make my decision here. I'll put the links below for those of you that haven't seen these or are interested in these. I'll put the links below. You can check them all out. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We'll be back soon. Um, I'll let you know what I decide on both the drones and on the camera. Um, and my decision is going to be, I'm going to factor in what you guys have to say about these. So thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.